Here, I've been asked to do a video that explains the glitch techniques to those who have minimal or no experience in glitching in No Man's Sky. So here's a set of tasks that you can do that will cover the basics and will get you familiar with the timing, the buttons and the muscle memory. As you can see, I've already selected a solar panel. I'm going to switch into the wire mode and now the solar panel is in the cache memory. I'm going to place the wire on the wall and now I'm going to do a basic wire glitch by pressing the wire and place button at the same time. Now I'm going to mess it up. I've gone back into the wire menu. I'm timing is slightly off. What is happening here? Because my timing is slightly off, the wire is attaching to the wall. I'll pull the wire so you can see. This will happen a lot until you get used to it. I'd keep trying until you have a high success rate. Never get 100%, none of us do. Once you start getting used to it, maybe throw in a little bit of wire rotation. It changes the direction of the item. Also adding a little more complexity to the technique that you're learning. And I keep practicing this basic wire glitch till you feel really confident in what you're doing. I'll repeat the basic wire glitch a few more times before moving on to the next one. Okay, the last one, let's move on to the tether glitch, also called the anchor glitch. Another simple, basic technique. We still have the solar panel pre-selected. We're in the wire menu. We attach a wire to the floor, pull it to the air. Now we're going to toggle free place and toggle out of the wire menu and you'll have a green stated item anchored to an invisible wire. The simple method has a lot of uses, but more importantly, it will get used to jumping between menus. We'll go through that one more time. Free select your item, go into the wire menu, attach the wire, pull the wire clear, toggle free place and the wire menu, and you have an anchored green stated item. I'll do that again before we move on to the next one. I've placed some switches on the wall. We're going to select the solar panel again. Toggle into the wire menu. Move your cursor to the center of the electrical connector. And now we're going to hit place and wire at precisely the same time. But you may have noticed that one went in the wrong direction. Here's the reason why. Do you see those electrical symbols and the directions they're pointing? That will determine the direction of the glitched item. Also, if I move my camera, those two electrical connector points merge together. And sometimes when you're off center or your timing's wrong, a wire connects and you get this effect. Okay, and sometimes when glitching to switches, you delete the glitched item, it removes the switch along with it. This can be useful for keeping base parts down. Anyway, back to the banjo wire glitch. Have the item pre-selected, toggle into the wire menu, put the cursor at the center of the electrical connector, and then hit wire and place at exactly the same time. We're going to do this several more times, and then I'll be back with the next one.
That's the last one. Now into Beeble's reverse wire glitch. I'm going to place down a garage door as an anchor point. We're going to select a small concrete wall. It doesn't have to be the concrete one. We're going to green state it against that edge and hit place and wire at exactly the same time. Drag the wire to the garage door and attach it. The wire is now centered. Okay, we're now going to green state a floor panel. Hit the wire and place at the same time. Okay, and can you see how the wire is locked in that position? We now attach it to the other wire. Delete the anchor wire. Double check that the wire is facing in the correct direction by looking at the electrical symbol. Let's select the floor panel again. Green state it, hit wire and place at the same time. Okay, and pull the wire as so. Let's repeat that for the other side. As I swing my build camera around, pay close attention to the electrical symbol in the center. Do you see how it switches direction as we move the camera? That is important and very useful. So what I want you to do now is to create the wire mesh that I'm creating now by using the reverse wire glitch. And then I'll return with the next bit of the tutorial. Okay, the wire mesh. As you'll notice, as I move my build camera around, different electrical symbols are being highlighted, which gives useful snap points to do a banjo wire glitch to, except the first one we did. The main reason, there is a limit on how many times you can connect a wire to a wire. And as the first wire was facing in the other direction, and all the other wires are facing towards the center, the game is ignoring that snap point. Let's banjo wire glitch an item to the center of that wire grid. A quick reminder that select the item, toggle into the wire menu, highlight the electrical connector point, and hit wire and place at exactly the same time. We're going to repeat that all the way around, except for the first wire, which obviously isn't connecting. And when you've done that, I've got one last task. Okay, the last task. I want you to create this L shape using Beeble's reverse wire glitch. And once you've got the L shape, you will use Banjo's wire glitch to place a floor in the center. You're going to create a circle, which is shot in real time, no speed up footage. And at this point, you don't need my commentary anymore. So I'll see you at the end.
As we reach the completion of the circle, I really do hope this tutorial has been useful and the tasks that I've given help you on your path to better glitching and hopefully you won't find it as daunting in the future. Hope you liked the video and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.